Far into the northern highlands of Scotland, in a magnificent estate on the shores of the Dornoch Firth, stands an enchanting highland castle. Once a Viking stronghold, and centuries later the home of philanthropist Andrew Carnegie, it is now one of the world's most exclusive private members clubs. This is Skibo Castle, home of the Carnegie Club. Here, where the air is as clear as the highland burns that flow beneath, members and guests retreat from the pressures of the outside world and spend time in a Scottish castle that Andrew Carnegie once described quite simply as heaven on earth. For more than a thousand years, Skibo Castle has cast a magical spell on those who have been privileged to stay here. In the 10th century, its Celtic inhabitants believed it was a gift from the Gallic fairies and called it Skitherbol, a fairy land of peace. Today, this magic still touches every aspect of this very special place, where service and style are redolent of far grander times. I think one uh, feels uh, during any visit uh, to the Northern Highlands, that you're in a very special, romantic uh, part of the world. And to come upon this castle with all its majesty, the magnificent trees, the incredible scenery, and it gives you a glimpse of what it was like to live and uh, be a house guest a uh, hundred years ago when uh, these great places were used as private residences. And it doesn't matter who you are and what you have in this world, uh, it's pretty hard to uh, uh, repeat what you find at Skibo Castle, it's, um, it's truly unique. Today, life at Skibo remains much as it did when Andrew Carnegie and his family lived here in the late 19th century. Carnegie truly loved the place. If heaven is more beautiful than this, he once joked, someone has made a mistake. As the richest man in the world at that time, Carnegie could afford to entertain in the lavish style. Around this very dining table, he fetted some of the most eminent and influential people of his time. Today, that tradition of Highland hospitality lives on, with members of the Carnegie Club now sharing the same peace and tranquility enjoyed by so many famous guests over the generations. Here, members are treated as the house guests of a great Edwardian sporting estate where food and accommodation are of a standard rarely found anywhere today. Room by room, the castle has been painstakingly restored. With much of the furniture in the great house, the drapery, and even the vellum-bound books from the library, just as they were the day that Andrew Carnegie died. The castle's 21 bedrooms are magnificent and each offers its own unique style and individual charm. Many Carnegie Club members have their own favorites, which they book time and time again. It's interesting that many of the bathrooms at Skibo are almost as big as the bedrooms themselves a reflection of Carnegie's innovative and revolutionary attitude to plumbing at that time. All have been restored to their original condition. As well as the luxury accommodation in the castle itself, members and guests have the option of staying in one of the twelve secluded and beautifully appointed stone lodges close by. Today, as in Carnegie's time, the skirl of the Great Highland Bagpipe still echoes around the castle walls each morning to rouse the guests for the traditional and hearty Scottish breakfast. Across its 7,500 acres, Skibo Castle offers an almost limitless array of sporting activities. A unique microclimate makes this ideal golfing country and members and guests have a choice of two private courses to play on. A nine-hole parkland course 
at a spectacular championship standard links course, designed by Donald Steele and Tom McKenzie. Opened in 1995, the Carnegie Links was built on the site of the original course laid out for Andrew Carnegie when he took up the Royal and Ancient Game in 1898. Since its opening, the course has been widely acclaimed by many of the world's foremost professional players and leading commentators on the game. As a test of shot making and strategic play, it stands comfortably among any of the great courses of Scottish golf. The course also features a splendid clubhouse with real open fires, and here golfers can relax and dine in style. In the summer months, golf can be played here late into the evening against a backdrop of one of the most picturesque settings in the world. A few miles further north, and golfers can sample the delights of Royal Dornoch the third oldest golf course in the world. And with many other great courses such as Brora, Nairn and Boat of Garten, all within easy reach, Skibo truly is a golfer's paradise. In addition to golf at the Carnegie Club, the more adventurous can turn their hands to off-road driving across terrain that will thrill and challenge drivers of all abilities. Or they can relax on horseback and explore the untamed beauty of the estate. There's clay pigeon shooting with individual tuition available for beginners and expert alike. Wow, for those whose passion is for rod and reel, Skibo is indeed a joyous place. Superb salmon and speckle bodied trout are abundant in the estate's rivers and streams. Each morning, members and guests are invited to watch the estate's falconer at work with his exotic birds of prey. The Carnegie Club also boasts a world-class spa, the famous swimming pavilion, built at the end of the 19th century, has been lovingly restored and retains its original heated marble pool. Here you will also find a solarium, sauna, fully equipped gymnasium, and spa treatment rooms staffed by therapists trained to the highest standards. Junior visitors to Skibo are also very well catered for with many outdoor and indoor activities on offer and the estate even features its very own fully equipped creche. The Carnegie Club also has an outpost in London in fashionable Knightsbridge, conveniently situated near to the finest shopping in the capital. The grand Victorian house, with 11 bedrooms all decorated in the style and to the same standard as Skibo Castle, provides members with an exclusive home away from home. Here, you'll find the peace of the Highlands and the spirit of Andrew Carnegie, transported to quickly dispel the pressures of city life. The outpost is part of the Carnegie Club belief in the preservation of the finer things in life, so manifestly apparent at Skibo Castle. Although remote and very private, Skibo is easily accessible with regular flights from London Gatwick and Glasgow to Inverness Airport. From here, the castle is only a 45 minute journey by car or a 10-minute flight by helicopter. Skibo is the home of the Carnegie Club, which is an international members club. We now have members from about 32 countries, and everybody's welcome to come once to experience it as a guest. And if they would like to return in the future, then they need to become a member of the club. Um, it's not expensive, but it creates a bond, it creates a camaraderie, and it means you make new friends and you return and you're familiar with the staff and you're familiar with the other members. And it allows the place to feel much more personal uh, as opposed to impersonal. Andrew Carnegie was asked at the dinner table at Skibo, 
do you fear death? And his reply was, why should I fear death? For I here at Skibo have a foretaste of the heaven to come. And I think that sums it up. It's, um, it's quite unique. I have never personally experienced anywhere in my life quite like Skibo Castle.